In this video I want to pay attention to a circuit that does not work the way I want it. It doesn't work properly and then I mean it consumes too much energy compared to the energy output to the lamp. I wanted to make a, a very simple inverter circuit uh, where, you, where you can use uh, a wall transformer in an inverted way to drive a high voltage lamp. And this lamp here was salvaged from an energy saving lamp circuit and you can find inside such an energy saving lamp circuit uh, this circuit. I took it apart uh, with this tool you can scrape the plastic open and uh, open it very very easily. I don't use of course all these electronics I only use the noble gas lamp that's here and in fact it's a, a vacuum lamp kind of neon tube lamp noble gas lamp here this is by the way the circuit I hope it's visible from this distance it's a Darlington here's the Darlington two transistors in the collector lead we have the transformer connected this part of the transformer the low voltage part and the working point is set by this potentiometer and there are quite a few things to tell about this uh, circuit mm, I think the video is too short but important things are this when you want the circuit to oscillate uh, you have to uh, use a backup link capacitor that goes from one of the secondary wires from the coil here these are the secondary wires also connected here to the noble gas uh, lamp and uh, I cannot say whether this will be this part of the uh, coil or that part of the coil so that's important when you want the circuit to oscillate try it out connect your back coupling cap to this location or that location the simple is uh, sorry the, the circuit is very simple um, the working point this resistor uh, safeguard your Darlington at first I made a Darlington with a BC547 uh, but it burned out quickly so I use now the BD139 and that works and these are the pin connections from the used transistors the waveform is not predictable I will show that later. Every transformer has an own frequency where it resonates at its best and it has its best properties, the, the best energy output and you have to search in fact for the resonance frequency where your transformer works best. I want to show now uh, the flaws from the circuit made it here and I'm going to show now what happens. I put vo uh, voltage to the circuit and you see that it oscillates now on 11.2 volts. This is not a stable oscillation and when I make uh, slow changes here, slight changes, you can see that the output level also varies and also the frequency varies so this is not a quite stable oscillator and I also have to tell that I have uh, connected here a hundred nanofarad capacitor but also here from the base from the base to ground another cap and that cap has a value from 47 nanofarad 
In other cases it did not want to work. Put out the light now. You see how the lamp glows in this situation. And when I change the working point here, you can see all kinds of phenomena. The lamp burns bright or not bright. And you can see the ampere rate change. So the circuit takes more current or less current. This depends of course on the uh, energy that's used. Um, the oscillation changes. And I want to make I wanted to make the circuit for 12 volts. So let's go to 12 volts. But when I go to 12 volts, you see that the current that the circuit takes is very, very strong. So 12 volts is not an ideal uh, voltage for this circuit. So it's experimental. I have to uh, develop it further and um, put on the light again now. I want to make uh, some more um, remarks on the schematic. Noble gas lamp, I've showed it here. And the whole circuit works, but the transistor get, gets too hot. And also here the transformer gets too hot. That means that there is a lot of loss in the transformer change to heat. So in such a circuit it's better to use um, a ferrite transformer. That is a low loss transformer that will work better in such a circuit. I only have 1 minute and 50 seconds left on my card, so this is all uh, I wanted to tell. It's an interesting circuit, you can do experiments with it. Uh, don't expect too much from it. And when, when you want to optimize it, use here a ferrite transformer, a low loss ferrite transformer. You will get much more energy out, much more light out. Uh, compared to the energy that's put in the circuit. 12 volt at approximately 500 milliampere or 1 ampere or so.